Welcome back to the two minute warning. Welcome back to the two minute warning, episode 120, back on the fantastic topic of baseball. George Springer, probably my favorite outfielder in the league. I'm a big Astros fan. George Springer is a free agent. Today we'll be looking at likely spots, beneficial to him and the team, obviously, likely spots for him to land this year. My top four spots, Chicago White Sox, New York Mets, of course, back in back in, in Houston, they could re-sign him, or the Blue Jays. I'd love to see him go back to the Astros. I don't want to lose George Springer. I love George Springer. He is a postseason menace. Swings the bat so much better. He's got a plus 300 average in the postseason, a 270 career average. He was drafted in 2011. So, uh, I mean, made his debut in 2014. So he's only six years into his major league career. To be posting a 270 average, 270 batting average is above average, not fantastic, but in postseason is when this guy really comes alive. He's a plus outfielder, plus at the plate. He can feel, he can catch, he can swing the bat. Um, like I said, he's a free agent this year. Uh, World Series MVP in 2017. Like I said, this man comes alive in the, in the postseason. Um, looking at his potential landing spots. First of all, the White Sox have a super talented young outfield with Eloy Jimenez and Luis Robert. Those two dudes can hit the ball 480 feet and they can run down anything in the outfield. If George Springer goes to the Chicago White Sox, we will see this team in the ALCS this coming season. We saw them lose in the ALDS, I think, in, in five games. No, that's not true. They, they, they lost to the A's this past year in the AL wild card. Um, so they didn't make it very far, but they had Jose Abreu. They have Jose Abreu, AL MVP. Um, and then, of course, there's two outfielders. Uh, like I said, Robert and Jimenez, super rookies, I think, both of them, but they're so talented. And then, of course, the electric Tim Anderson in the infield. So that team will be scary if they can sign George Springer. Like I said, they went out early this year in the wild card against the A's, but that would not be the case. I think this is a team, just by signing George Springer, we immediately see in the push for an ALCS appearance. Um, next team, the Mets. Mets are weak. They just lost Robinson Cano to PED. He got busted with that. He's out 60 games, or maybe it's more. I don't know. They're going to need to find somebody to replace him. If George Springer goes to the Mets, that is going to be a rebuild attempt, and he's going to be willing. He's going to be needed willing to sign there for five years before they see any production minimum. Uh, the only notable outfielder there is that he's going to be joining is Michael Conforto. If he signs there, Michael Conforto is super, uh, super good lefty. Um, kind of not really had his time to shine. Uh, of course, he was on that Mets team like 2014, 2015, when they were trying to make a World Series run back when they had Daniel Murphy, Lucas Duda, uh, Travis Darno. Um, then, of course, they still have DeGrom on the mound. So they got a solid pitching foundation. They need to sign a guy uh, that can start for them. If they can manage to do like sign Trevor Bauer, they need to sign Trevor Bauer. Um, but again, if he goes to the Mets, I honestly don't want to see him go to the Mets because I'm a George Springer fan and I want to see him go somewhere that he can go straight into being a playoff contending team. I don't want to see him go to the Mets where he's going to need a rebuild. Um, then, of course, back to the Astros. It makes sense. Obviously, he has chemistry with the guys Correa, uh, Altuve, Yuli Gurriel, uh, Bregman. Uh, who else in the outfield? Reddick. Um, that's a great team, obviously, in Houston. Regardless if they cheated, I don't give. I don't care. I like the Astros, um, so he works well there. Obviously, he clicks well. He knows how to play there. I hope the Astros can re-sign him. But for all we know, he wants out of Houston just to get away from all the the scandal, the whole thing with that. I don't really know how that works from his standpoint, but he might want out of Houston. Um, so I'd love to see him go back to the Astros. My top landing spot for him outside of Houston is going to be Toronto. Here's why: they have a young roster that needs a veteran presence. And I'm not gonna say George Springer's a veteran because of his age, but he has experience in the playoffs. Like I said, just three years into his career, World Series MVP, World Series ring. Uh, last year, ALCS, they made us the playoffs, I think every single year he's been on the team. Okay, I'll take that back. He started in 2014. They made it They made it to the playoffs his last three years. Uh, last year, World Series lost. Uh, sorry, two years ago, World Series lost to the Nationals. Last year, ALCS, year before World Series Championship. This man knows how to play playoff baseball, and that's exactly what the Blue Jays team needs. In the outfield, they got Randall Gritchick and uh, Lourdes Gurriel, uh, Yuli Gurriel's little brother. Um, so they have a young outfielder. Randall Gritchick has been around, but he has never really had his moment to really excel. So he could use a veteran presence in the outfield. Uh, Gurriel, uh, Lourdes Gurriel, obviously on the Blue Jays I'm talking about, Really started to swing the bat well at the end of the season. I think he posted like six hits in the wild, ser wild card series against the Rays this year. So this George Springer can so 
provide value to this team in the form of a mentor for these guys. And then not to mention outfielders, but Kevin Biggio, the dude's obviously Craig Biggio's son. He's got talent. Younger guy in the infield. Vladdy Jr., probably my favorite swing of anybody in the league. I love his swing. Um, and then, of course, Bo Bichette, probably the second favorite swing of mine in the league. So they've got young guys. This team needs somebody that knows how to play playoff baseball and knows how to lead this team because this Blue Jays team is a team that I see winning the World Series the next five seasons. So my top landing spot for George Springer, if it's not Houston, that's what I want to happen. What I think will happen is I think the Blue Jays will offer him enough money for him to go there. Uh, there, he will provide a veteran presence for the young guys. Uh, Vladdy Jr., Bo Bichette, Craig Vigio, sorry, Haven Vigio, and Lourdes Gurriel, Randall Grichuk. He will provide a veteran presence there. And I think that's a team that he can make, that he can push to the World Series in the next couple seasons. But that's my verdict. George Springer going to Toronto. Two minute warning.